When my dad was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer, it was a devastation to the entire family because one, we hadn't really heard about colon cancer before, um, in our family neither. So, and we, we never really thought we could get cancer because you know we were healthy people, did everything we had to do, ate healthy, uh, and it wasn't really big in the family again. So it just you know both his parents died from heart problems. So, and when they were really old. Uh, so we, we just thought we were one of those immune people from cancer and But when my dad got diagnosed uh, with cancer and I realized you know one of the biggest the best things that dad can ever do is walk his daughter down the aisle You know, it's very important especially for dads like mine uh, about a year and a few months after he got diagnosed That's when we decided to get married um, so we had planned it for a few months and uh, it was like really almost last minute. I mean, we had five months, which is pretty much last minute for a wedding. <laughs> but we, we realized that we wanted to make sure he's there, you know, to have the first dance, to have him walking down the aisle. And he was really happy. You could tell, I mean, when you see the videos, he, he was really honored to be able to be alive and be with me. And he appreciated even more now that he knew that he could, it, it was very possible for him to have not been there. So yeah, he, he really appreciated the wedding. There's no doubt about that. When my son grows older, he's definitely going to hear about his grandfather. Even when I was a teenager, my dad would never let me, um, he'd never let me be sad. You know, even if I'm going through my teenage drama, I'd be like, Dad, but this is difficult. He says, no, no, it's really not. It's really not a big deal. But you don't understand. Yes, I do understand. And it's really not a big deal. He used to always remind me that even at the hospital when he was weak, he was still cracking jokes. So it was a huge shock, uh, devastating, especially the fact that it was stage four. We said, what happened to all the symptoms? Where, where were they? Because I realized when I did my research is that colon cancer is extremely preventable. One thing I didn't realize is support groups, how helpful they actually are. I would completely encourage a patient to go to a support group, not just for the fact that he might He'll be with people that are going through or have been through what he's going through and they can, you know, support each other. But it could be very helpful in terms of, you know, seeing how other people are dealing with side effects of the chemotherapy. You know, you, you try something and, oh, this worked, this really helped with my, my side effects, maybe you should try that as well. So trial and error and experience is what really teaches people how to deal with cancer.